Canada's Minister of the Environment was in Hamilton today to announce that the Randall Reef Remediation Project will move on to its third and final stage. The contaminated sediment has been dredged and moved into a container, and now the area in the Hamilton Harbour will be capped. Kelly Botello has the details. Removing over a century of contamination from the Hamilton Harbor is no easy task. I think people need to understand that this is probably one of the largest remediation projects in the world. In phase one of the Randall Reef remediation project, a large container was built on top of the most contaminated area of the harbor. The containment facility has a surface area of seven football fields. Then stage two, which is now complete, was the dirty work, the dredging of the area outside of the containment facility shown in yellow, sucking up the sediment and bringing it inside of the holding tank. All of the contamination is now safely contained within this facility. Now it's on to the final portion of the project, sealing the container so that none of the toxic sediment gets out. With the final layer being a, a asphalt paved surface, then the facility will be uh, I'm turned over to the um, Hamilton Oshawa Port Authority who will use the, the facility as a yeah, future port. Canada's Minister of the Environment says all eyes are on Hamilton and how the massive cleanup project was handled. A collaborative effort between all levels of government and stakeholders. It was one of the most contaminated sites on this side, on the Canadian side of, of, of the Great Lakes. Different levels of government can, can work together using best available technology to, to, to leave something behind better than what we inherited. Project managers say 615,000 cubic meters of contaminated sediment has been contained, either secured in the holding tank or capped in place in the Stelco Channel. The sludge is harmful to the harbor's ecosystems. The capping project is expected to start this fall and be completed in 2024. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.